Gold remains one of the most sought after precious metals and is considered a symbol of wealth and power. To extract it, miners must process tons of rock. But have you ever wondered how gold is made? We visited the largest gold mine in the United States and the largest underground gold vault in the world to discover how gold is extracted from mines and how it is stored in one of the most secure places on the planet. Billions of years ago, showers of golden meteorites fell to earth and everything that fell remained buried until mining work began and humanity started searching for this shiny golden metal. The prospectors in California didn't care where the gold came from. They were chasing the American dream and gold could make them rich. What they didn't know was that beneath their feet lay a sea of gold, far more vast than they ever dreamed of. The gold embedded in superheated silica was pushed to the surface from deep within the earth and found in quartz veins. Gold cannot be extracted or processed until it is found first. The first step is identifying where the gold is. Currently, most gold exists in rocks as microscopic particles that cannot be seen with the naked eye. In northeastern Nevada lies the largest gold mine in the United States. The tools used to find rocks containing gold are replaced with a giant electromagnetic system, a massive metal detector that scans the skies and sends a signal capable of detecting magnetic sands and their related components hundreds of meters underground. Many times, gold is found in these sands. Aerial exploration, although costly, can significantly direct the search effort. Finding a large mine is not easy. Therefore, the economic risks are high. Out of every 1,000 exploration operations, fewer than one succeeds. When a small gold nugget is found, machines begin digging, and they can dig as deep as two kilometers. The mine in northeastern Nevada is the second largest gold mine in the U.S., owned by the world's largest mining company, Barrick Gold. The mine consists of an underground section and an open pit mine. 450 meters deep and 80 meters wide. Every day, six tons of gold-bearing rock are blasted. Once the blasting occurs, workers start drilling the rocks and placing explosives made from ammonium nitrate mixed with fuel. They use about 7,900 tons of ammonium nitrate each time, producing around 600,000 tons of crushed rock. Each ton of ore contains only about three grams of gold. Huge quantities of rock are required to produce a single gold bar. Extracting this precious metal costs billions of dollars. Today, gold is sold for around $1,960 per ounce. This shovel is the largest in the world, costing over $20 million, also making it the most expensive. Haul trucks can carry up to 270 tons of ore, and the shovel can load a ton of gold in just three passes. Once the trucks are loaded, the ore is transported to massive conveyor belts that move the metal to a giant drum where the rocks are ground into powder. In the next phase, this powder is mixed with water to create a kind of slurry and small amounts of cyanide are added to form a solution. Cyanide is one of the few chemicals that can dissolve gold. Then, small pieces of carbon are added to capture the gold and separate it from impurities. After that, the solution undergoes electrolysis, where gold particles are deposited on the negative electrode. In the Nevada mine, tons of gold are extracted underground using the same surface mining techniques, but this time the process is more expensive and dangerous. Tunnels up to 80 kilometers long are dug underground. Finally, the gold is melted in furnaces reaching 1,100 degrees Celsius, producing pure gold bars that are 90% pure each weighing 25 kilograms and valued at over a million dollars. This mine produces 26 tons of gold annually, worth more than a billion dollars. Now, the gold is transported to a refinery where all impurities are removed. The gold undergoes final cleaning and polishing. The last step is stamping the bars with their purity percentage. More than 190,000 tons of gold have been extracted throughout history with a large portion ending up in the hands of the Federal Reserve. For more than 80 years, armored trucks have moved through the narrow streets of Manhattan, carrying millions in gold deposits in and out of the only Federal Reserve Bank considered secure enough to protect nearly a quarter of the world's gold reserves. 
The Federal Reserve's Gold Vault is located in New York, beneath the main office building in Manhattan, built in the early 1920s to provide a safe place for account holders to store their monetary gold reserves. Most of the gold in the vault arrived after World War II, as many countries wanted to store their gold reserves in a safe place. Gold deposits in the vault continued to rise, peaking in 1979, shortly after the U.S. suspended it converting the dollar into gold for foreign governments. At its peak, the vault held over 12,000 tons of gold. Since then, gold deposits and withdrawals have gradually slowed, and the vault has seen a steady decline in total stock. However, to this day, it remains the world's largest monetary gold repository. Gold is transported in armored trucks under heavy guard. Small gold bars, which may not seem like much, would crush your car's tires if you tried to load them in the trunk. The bars are then moved to the largest underground gold vault in the world, valued at more than $380 billion. But what would you do with all that gold? Leave your opinion in the comments. If you want to know how a gold chain is made, you'll find the link in the description and the first comment. Click like if you enjoyed the video and share it with someone who's interested. Don't forget to subscribe and activate notifications to keep learning. Warm regards.